This is a grizzly bear radio collar, much larger than anything any other animal wears, but perfect for a 600 pound grizzly. Once this collar is on a bear and beeping, there are no more secret hiding spots. Grizzly bear 227, wearing a new GPS collar, is gone in a blink. The majority of these bears do everything they can to avoid people. 227's collar sends a location signal every 105 minutes. He travels 1,400 miles between June and November. His location is marked on a grid across Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Some bear collars even turn up with dots in the middle of Island Park Reservoir. We have bears that swim across the reservoir at night. That's a pretty good trick. <laughs> you learn some pretty neat information from that on where they go and what they do. 10% of the grizzlies in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem are collared. Idaho's bear researchers follow those collars. Nicole Walker picks points off the GPS grid and finds them on foot. She checks the area for collared bears before she leaves the truck. All static, no beeps. That's what she wants. If we hear a beep, it means that there's a collared grizzly in the area. If we hear a beep, we leave. Hearing a beep is bad. We don't want to hear beep. Static is good. She needs to know why the bear was here, but she doesn't want the bear to be here when she comes through. Help! She hollers often to make her presence known. Help! The bear's bed and breakfast is evident in the daybed burrowed behind a log for napping and the bark full of bugs peeled back for eating. There's a high level of anxiety sometimes, but it's also a big thrill to be out here in bear country and investigating and seeing things that a lot of people don't get to see. One, two, three. As for bear 227, he's worn a collar for two decades. He's now 21. He could live to 30. If his health holds, Idaho's first research bear will still be wandering the wild when grizzlies are removed from the threatened and endangered species list. And all this work in the woods will go toward keeping the grizzly bear population in place. Chris Milgate, East Idaho News.